As a child, I was pretty restless. I vividly remember my mom yelling at me to stop fidgeting and uh, concentrate on my studies. Of course, I did not listen to her at that time. But my awareness to the restlessness that I had came a couple of years ago when I started to write my own blog. I remember taking almost a month to put that blog together. Back then I was employed and I had an entire weekend to myself. So this restlessness or the awareness that I had this issue came forward when I increased the frequency of my blog posts. I wondered why did it take me such a long time to put my thoughts across? Is it that I'm suffering from writer's block or does it have anything to do with my concentration? After digging into these questions and my own behavior, this is what I've concluded. You'll only concentrate on the work that you value or love. If you do not value or love any activity, then you will be distracted easily. It's as simple as that. I couldn't concentrate on writing a simple blog post because I didn't see value in it. At that time, I did not see it as an avenue of expression. I wanted to write a blog because everyone else was doing it. I wanted to write a blog because my friends were writing it. To create these videos, I have a process of scripting, shooting, editing and publishing. After 150 videos, and this one is the 150th by the way, thank you very much. So after so many videos, I never got distracted in any of these processes, which is the reason why I'm consistent with them. So here's my conclusion. For you to strengthen your concentration, you need to do these three things. The first thing to do is to check on your why the purpose. What do you want to concentrate on and why do you want to do it? If you're a student, for example, and you have trouble concentrating on your studies, ask yourself, why do you want to study? You could have answered, I wanted to get good grades. Why do you want to get good grades? Is it because your parents tell you to? Or do your friends get good grades and that's why you want to get it? Or is it because you truly believe that good grades will help you get ahead in your career? So what's your why? Similarly, look for your why in every area where you think you lack concentration. Because think about it, we don't need concentration techniques when we are on our Insta or Snapchat, right? You already have the abilities within you. Abilities to concentrate, I mean. All you need to do is figure out your why before you begin your task. Once you figure your why, then you can understand what is obstructing you from achieving your purpose. Staying with the example, now that you value your studies, what do you see as your potential distraction? Is it the constant buzzing of your phone? If it is, then fix it. Fixing your distractions is how you will be able to improve your concentration. For example, if it is the buzz on the phone, then the fix is probably to remove notifications. If it is to constantly checking social media, then the fix is for you to block your phone for that period using focus apps. If your distraction is background noise or people interrupting you, then your fix is to cut out that noise. Putting on the headphone with your favorite music and putting a do not disturb board in front of you can help. If your distraction is multitasking, then I've actually spoken about this already and I will link to that video in the description below. So you see, in order for you to improve your concentration, you need to check your why first. I'd like to conclude today with this quote. Success in life is a matter not so much of talent as of concentration and perseverance. What do you think about what I share with you today? Does it make sense? Can you challenge my thinking? I'd love to hear from you. Do drop your thoughts in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that are flashing on your screen. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video resourceful, do hit the like button and share it with your friends and I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye.